My town, Epping, was known to be the quietest town on the east coast of America. No crimes, no murders, no theft. Until whatever happened to me on the night of October 13th happened. It was like every other night in Epping, quiet. I had completed all my work and resigned myself to play my piano, something I played passionately. It was uncommon that anything disturbed me while playing. Nothing in the town of Epping ever did. But something did. I heard something hit my window. Or did it? Could have been a phantom sound. Either way, I continued playing. When I heard the sound again, after that, I knew it was real. But what? After a couple of moments of staring at the window, I realized that it was a ball bouncing on my window. The strangeness of it all lured me towards the window. What on earth was it? My stomach dropped to the floor when I saw what was doing that. It was a creepy, deranged looking man who was staring back at me, knocking on the glass now that he had seen me. After my initial shock, I snapped back into my senses and decided to go lock the main door. Luckily, he hadn't gotten there yet. When I got back to the window, the man wasn't there anymore. I was feeling incredibly unsafe and had nothing to protect myself with. I scrambled up the staircase to make sure everything upstairs was locked. I then called 911 and explained my situation to them. Even they were skeptical but agreed to send a patrol over. When I was just about to finish up, I heard the piano playing downstairs. I was in immense danger and was frozen. I knew the cops in Epping took the time to respond to calls because they were not used to this. When the piano stopped playing, I knew he was coming for me. I had to hide out until the cops got there. I climbed into a locker and locked myself in. I was shaking uncontrollably. My mind was racing. I was hoping he wouldn't come here. My worst fears had come true. The man had walked into the room and was scanning it. He began searching the room and even played with the lights. The light went off for a brief moment. And after that, that was when I thought my life would end. He looked straight at me, and even sniffed. But he left. He spared me for some reason, or so I thought. Before leaving, he turned the lights off. I'm sure he waited in that room for hours, waiting for me to come out. Thank God I never did. <laughs>